4th of July 2014. It's a Thursday and the time is 7.04. Now, I'm going to give you the top 30 overused phrases on resumes and CVs. Now, I have been working on CVs for many, many years. I've rebranded many of them. So I'm going to tell you these common phrases that people copy paste or because they lack innovative thought, they use them. Um, sometimes it's okay, but now it's it, it, it gets a bit too much. And these are the top 30. The first one, I'll just go on. Ability to handle pressure. Well, obviously they're paying you money, so you should handle pressure. Able to work in a fast paced environment slash independently. Really? I didn't know that there were many of them who wanted a suda in their mouth. And if you don't work, if you don't know how to work in a fast paced environment, you would not survive today. Uh, third one, exceeded all productivity goals of the department. Really, very good. Yes. That is why you're looking out for a job. And that is why they don't want to keep you. Then, exceptional at multitasking. Ooh la la, I didn't know that. There are very few people who are good at doing that. Ladies, but when it involves cooking, cleaning, taking care of the babies and uh, answering phone calls. But not doing something that involves your 100% attention. Next one, expert presenter, negotiator and uh, what is that? One minute. Uh, business person. So you're an expert at everything. Good. Why don't you run your own business? Um, the you know commonly using superlative adjectives to describe a personality, like saying I'm the um, the best at something, excellent at something, uh, EST, whatever. I've seen many of those. Then this one is pretty funny. Including but not limited to. Oh, so you are trying to make the phrase phrase redundant. Including, but not limited to. Come on, simple English, please. Then introduce new products, services, and strategies. So, you are the one who introduced everything. The company is filled with dorks who don't do anything. Lead a team. Obviously, you're supposed to lead somebody. Manage cross-functional team. Or coordinating with cross-functional teams. Oh, come on. Then, uh, this one is a classic. My ambition is to climb the top of the corporate ladder. Ooh, I didn't know. Nowadays, people like to take the lift. Partnering with others. Hmm. Possess. 15 years of experience in. That's a starting statement. Possess. You get possessed. Then possess leadership and communication skills. Exceptional, extremely good, whatever. Possess motivational and inspirational skills. Ooh, wow, very nice. So after you get terminated, you need all of them for yourself. Then... This is very common. Praising yourself to perfection, where you begin to think, if this guy is so perfect, why is he looking out for a job? Then, proven track record of success. Oh, where is that track? Let me see. Which track? I'm a quick learner. Good. So, you want to learn on my business expense. Then, resolved customer difficulties quickly and tactfully. Good. If you do it slowly, well, nobody will hire you. Result-oriented person. Uh, Saying a resume on your resume, resume off, CV off, okay. Spoke with existing customers on a daily basis, good. It's suppose you have 5,000 customers, so you speak to them every day, good. Stating the obvious, references available on request. Stating that you were responsible for something, then strong written and verbal communication skills. Very strong, not weak, strong. Then, strong customer service and organizational skills. Yes. Talking about your duties. Who the hell is interested in your bloody duties? And some of them are even ridiculous. My duties include typing, faxing, phoning, and expertise in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Wow. And one of them was, I am very good at Windows. Good, good. Then, team player. Very good. If uh, It's good to know you're a team player. That's why you work in a company filled with people. Thrive in difficult environments or XYZ environments. Hmm. It's like a bacterial culture. And finally, I took decisions on behalf of the management or as part of the board. Oh, then why are you looking for a job? You should start your own company. So ladies and gentlemen, these were the top 30 nonsense overused phrases on resumes, in resumes and CVs. Please avoid this if possible. You have any other different ones? Live from Oh, by the way, this is a good one. Last sentence, which I just want you to hear. 
I am an innovative person, problem solver with a proven track record of extensive entrepreneurial experience. Motivated by results oriented approach, my dynamic personality demonstrates my ability to be a team player in a fast paced environment. I'm a, if chosen, I believe I'm a perfect fit for your company. So that's why from Live Season Up.